welcome back. Tomorrow is Juneteenth. Now the holiday serves as a symbol of freedom and it also recognizes the long struggle for civil rights for enslaved African Americans. Well, there will be plenty of celebrations happening across Connecticut, including one in Middletown. And joining us this morning, we have Erica Hunter from the Middletown Ujima Alliance to tell us all about this year's festivities. Welcome back, Erica. Thank you, Symphony. Thank you for having me again. Yeah, I appreciate so it. nice to see you. Yes. So this has been going on for a few years now. Yes, our fourth year. Middletown. Fourth year. Congratulations Thank on you. that. That's wonderful. What's new this year? Um, new this year, um, obviously, this is our second parade. So we're st still getting acclimated to the whole parade thing, but it's growing. Um, this year, we have a um, parade competition. We have seven different drill teams this year in the oh. parade. Yes, and they're going to be competing in the parade. And then down at the festival, immediately follow following the parade at Harbor Park, will be like the Battle of the Drum Line and the Battle of the da your Dance Squads. And then our own dance team is going to be performing. And we have a Who Rocked the Fest the Best. We have a DJ contest. So, oh, wow. Yes. That sounds so cool. So we're just planting seeds in other communities, but also having our local DJs get shine this year. Yeah. And it's it's been an awesome experience and, you know, definitely wouldn't be able to have any of this. This wouldn't be possible without our sponsors like Middlesex Hospital, Middlesex Health, rather, Wesleyan University, Middletown Racial Justice Coalition. They're huge sponsors from for the past four years. Nice. And we're greatly appreciative of them. Yeah, that sounds incredible. Now, for folks who are not familiar with the event or maybe they didn't get a chance to come out last year, tell us a little bit about why you all decided to band together to make sure that Middletown had an event to commemorate Juneteenth. I believe that it's very easy to do in Middletown, um, being that it's such a very diverse community. And there are people that actually support one another and not just one community of people, but all communities of people. So it was easy. And once we actually did um, a, a march a few years back after George Floyd, when our mayor actually made it a city holiday before it became a state and federal, gotcha. it's like that gave us the momentum to forge forward and actually say, you know what, we're turning this into a celebration of freedom. So that's why we actually call ours the Liberation Day Festival. We want everybody to feel liberated and feel free. and. We, it's growing. Um, people are, are looking forward to it. And it's a good thing that, you know, our kids actually get to see something that is full of pride and joy on that day and they can celebrate. And, you know, we get the support of the community and surrounding communities. So we're very grateful for Middletown allowing my act, the organization to actually plan this from the beginning to the end. Yeah. Yes. That sounds like it's going to be such a good time. It we is. actually had uh, the Magic Soul Academy yes. drumline here at the studio last week. Mm -hmm. They were participating in another Juneteenth event this past weekend. Mm -hmm. So we know uh, they are one of the They're teams. leading the way. Okay. They're leading the way um, along with, I don't, um, out of New Haven Elite Drill Squad, the Hill House Marching Band. So we actually have, like, when I tell you the amount of talent that's going to beat the streets of Middletown is going to be phenomenal. We also wanted to make sure that everybody is mindful of the heat. Mm -hmm. um, we have um, incorporated with the Middletown Health Department. Um, there's a cooling tent. There's going to be water refill stations, as well as we have over 70 cases of water that have been donated. So we're giving out free waters um, that day. So Great. we're making sure that, you know, the word of the day, two words, is still stay hydrated. Yeah. And we want to make sure that, you know, if you don't have the chair that has the umbrella over it, bring an umbrella. Yeah. Shade yourself from the sun. I did see that the temperature changed a little bit and went down a little bit, so I'm hoping that it's going to be a little bit more comfortable than what was anticipated. Yeah. <laughs> we'll see. We're going to check in uh, with Matt in just a moment. Yes. But uh, really quickly before we head out, is this a free event? Yes, it's free. Okay. Always free. Free 99, you guys. Free hamburgers and hot dogs oh, to the community. Nice. Okay. We do have food truck vendors. Great. However, we always make sure that for the families that can't afford to feed their families off of a food truck, we yeah. make sure that there's something available for them. Okay, great. And how can people find out more information about the event? Yes, they can visit culture21.net and all of our information is on there. And actually Facebook, we're on Facebook at Middletown Ujima Alliance. Okay, sounds yes. good. Thank you so much. Thank and I hope so you guys much. have a great turnout this year. Great, thank you so much for having me again. No problem.